one. So this is my nail that I'm going to start with. It is a nail that's been coated with gel polish. And so this would be like a finished gel polish look of a nail, even though it's kind of ugly. Um, so what we're going to begin by doing to prepare for nail art um, with my art paints is we're going to just um, gently buff this surface. And actually, you can also use like a, a matte top coat if you want, if you don't have anything underneath that's sparkly. So I'm just going to matte this a little bit. I think this was just, I just grabbed this nail out of my drawer. I must have been doing science experiments. And I'm going to just wipe it off. And what I thought I'd do for you today is show you, I'm going to do just like a little cartoon B so that you can just get an idea of how awesome the paints are, how pigmented they are. And so we'll go from there. So first thing I'm going to do is grab um, like a palette. Uh, I have these for my salon and I, I ordered a zillion of them. So I just like to use them for palettes when I'm working. The paint is extremely... Um, it has an extremely thin viscosity, so if you do put it on like a thumb palette, make sure you put it down in one of the ones that has a little dip. Um, so first thing you want to do is shake it really good. These are unlabeled because they're um, my testers that I was using before I actually finished the product. So all you really need is like a little blob. That's it. So this bottle will last forever. When I do anything that's a cartoon, cartoon stuff usually has a black outline, a very thin black outline. So I'm going to take my brush, and this is just one of the many brushes I have. It's a very, it's like a triple zero. Very, very skinny. I'm going to load it up with paint. And I'm going to go ahead, and the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the outline of my B. And I can do this with big, fat, thick lines because I'm going to show you the trick to making them skinny. So there's this big B booty. That's the head. That's the butt or whatever that is on a B. And then I'm going to do a wing here. Oopsies. My bad. Don't care. And I'm going to do a wing here. And you totally don't have to stress out about doing these perfectly. Um, another thing that I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead right now. Now these are going to be final. The legs that I'm going to put on my B will be final. Oop, let's give them a stinger real quick. Boink. And it's a cartoon, so you can have a big fat stinger. And we'll give them some legs. So insects have six legs. So when I use this brush, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push down a little bit to get something a little fatter, and then I'm going to pull up I'm going to make the bottoms of his legs a little thicker to his back legs. Uh, okay, so I'm going to take, I have some water. I'm just going to swish out my brush. I always like to rub it on something white to make sure that I really have the paint like all the way out of it. I'm going to roll it to a nice little tip. Okay, here comes the fun. So we have our thick black outline. Now what I'm going to do is, ooh, that was plenty. Get my white, and this is where sometimes you need to hold your breath a little bit because we are going to color this in like a coloring book. What I'm going to do is I am going to get just as close as I can to the outer edge of this black, which is going to make it look like it has a crazy thin outline.
You just want to hold your nail art brush the way you hold a pencil. I hold pencils really, really weird. So don't think that this is some type of magical technique. Like I could put my pointer finger up in the air when I write and draw because I'm just a strange one. Same thing with its face. It's going to come in as close as I can. Nice white paint, right? Boom. One coat. And I'm going to do the same thing. The body. How awesome is that white paint, right? I mean, like, oh my gosh, I, I get so excited. <laughs> so anyway, we're just going to give this a second and let this dry and we'll move on. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint some stripes on the bee, butt, body, whatever. And I'm not just going to go straight because his body's round. So I'm going to actually make my stripes a little bit rounded. One more. Doink. Now what I'm going to do another thing oh, is we're going to go to our yellow art paint. I'm going to give it a really good shake. Get a glob out. we're going to do some coloring. So I'm going to pick up my yellow and I'm just going to color in the yellow itself is bright, but it really pops when you put the white behind it. It just really helps any colors pop. So whenever I'm doing anything cartoon, I just start with a white background. Also going to color the little bee head yellow as well. And I'm just going to let that set up for a second. Now we're ready for our little bee eyes. I love doing cartoony stuff because as soon as you put the eyes on, it has a personality. So this thing is just dead to me right now. But once those eyes go on, oh, I love it. So I want the eyes to have a black outline. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some black paint and I'm literally just going to go and make like a big old eye. If you're more comfortable using a dotting tool, go for it. I am not, so I definitely like to just do stuff by hand. I feel out of control with a dotting tool for some reason. While I'm waiting for this, I'm going to take an even thinner look out than that thing is. Ah. This is one that I cut. I cut all of my um, brushes that are like this on the website. So they're custom cut all ready for you. Teeny tiny is like a triple zero. And then I cut it down even further. So you don't even have to worry about cutting it. It comes cut by me. You're welcome. Because everybody's like, oh, will you help me cut my brush? So I was like, you know what? This is craziness. I'm just going to cut a bunch of brushes and then put them on the website. And then you don't have to worry about it. 
So I'm just mixing up a little gray. I'm gonna do some little highlights in the wings. So here we go. These are so subtle, you can barely see them. But that's what we want, because it looks lame to have like big black veins going through wings. Unless you're a monarch butterfly, then you have permission. So, don't know if y'all can see that. Our little veins. Now we're ready to go back to these eyes. And one thing that I love about my art paints is they dry matte, so you know when it's dry, when you like turn it all around and it looks matte. So you don't have to worry like, is this dry? Can I work on it? Am I gonna screw it up? I'm gonna pick up some of my white paint. This is the most like complex part. So this is where you need to pray to Jesus and you need to hold your breath and um, hope that it goes well. We are gonna come in here and get as close as we can, and I need to stop talking. Close as we can to the edge. And do you see how it makes that teeny little outline? We're gonna have to do this a couple times, so just get used to it. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Okay, there we go. We got some crazy eyes. Now while that's drying, I'm gonna take the black and give him like a smile because he's a happy bee. And he's gonna just go in my collection of nails because I might stick this on somebody. So again, I'm using my teeny weeny 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 brush. I'll load it up with a little black paint. If the black paint starts to thicken up a bit because it's starting to dry, all you have to do is add like a teeny blob of water to it and you're good to go again. That's another thing I love about my paints. I have been waiting like for years to do this and release them and I'm so excited because I feel like we need good art paints. Okay, so I'm anchoring myself really tight And there's my little bee smile. He's happy. If for some reason I feel like, oh, that got a little thick or I don't like it or whatever, I can always take my yellow. Just a teeny weeny bit. And I could come in there with my yellow and just help it to get a teeny bit thinner. There's my little happy bee. All right, and so now, okay, we need to do this crazy thing with the eyes like two more times. You can do it, I promise. It just, you gotta like practice holding your breath and praying, okay. It works every time for me. Watch it not work this time, that would suck. Okay, so I'm gonna get some black on my brush and I'm going to now actually make the center of the eye. There's one. And there's the other. And see how he just like came to life? He's alive. It's so cute. Okay, and now all we have left to do is put one little white dot in like the top corners of the blacks of the eyes. My crazy little bee looking all crazy. So we're gonna just get the little teeny teeny tip 
And we're just going to go doink, doink. Oh, wait, let me redoink that one. Doink. How cute, right? Okay, let's give him some little antenna. So, again, I'm going to go to my mini, mini, mini. I think that's what I'll call it, the mini, mini, mini. I'm gonna load it with paint and when I'm doing a line, like see how it has like a glob on the front of it? Globs are bad. So I'm gonna like swipe it on my palette to make sure it's smooth. So I want this to start skinny and end fat. So I'm going like little pressure and then I push down. See how I did that? Load my brush, make sure I don't have any honks or clumps. Start skinny and then push. So there's our little bee. I hope you like him. You can do it. You can do anything. It just takes some practice. So enjoy. Make some bees to go with your flowers. And one more thing you can do is, if you are, you know, you have the nail next door, all empty. I'm going to mat my nail real quick just to show you this. Something cute you can do is to take your brush, take your black. I'm just going to wet it a little. And you can do um, a cute little dotted line. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's so childish. But it's last thing we have left to do is just a gel top coat. And I always, 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 always double gel top coat hand painted artwork. Just always. The stuff dries really fast. So you're not going to have to wait long. And there's our little bee. Hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you share it with somebody so they can learn a cool new trick. <laughs> Bye.